Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at Java program to accept a string in uppercase and replace all the vowels present in the string with asterisk sign. For example, if the string given is like this, Tata Steel is in Jamshedpur, we have to replace all the vowels present in the string with asterisk. This is very simple program. Let us quickly see the logic. We will use the basic prototype of Java program, import class name, public static void main and scanner object. Okay. Now let us declare the variable string a to take the string int i for execution of for loop. Now what will I do? I will run the for loop. How for loop will go? Before for loop I have to take the string of course. So I will ask user system dot out dot print ln enter the string or you can say enter the sentence it's your choice okay i'll write a is equal to s dot next line because we are taking sentence first job is to convert it into uppercase why are we converting into uppercase because at the end we have to print everything into the uppercase okay to accept a string in uppercase if user does not enter in uppercase then what we need to convert it and we know how to convert by using the function a is equal to a dot to uppercase. Once it is converted into uppercase, I'll run the for loop for i is equal to 0. For all string questions, this remains same. i less than a dot length, we will go till length and i plus plus. What's the difference between string and array? In array, it is just a variable a dot length and in string, it is a function. Okay. In the for loop, we will extract one by one each character. Okay, so what will I do? Char ch. I'll declare one variable char ch. In the for loop, what I'll do? Ch is equal to a dot char at i. Why am I extracting this character? So that I can compare. How will I compare if ch is equal to equal to a or we cannot directly write E. Okay. It is wrong. Some students do this mistake. They simply write A, E, I, O like this. It is wrong. We have to write every time CH is equal to equal to E or CH is equal to equal to I or CH is equal to O or CH is equal to equal to U. So, if it is A, E, I, O, U, what am I supposed to do? I have to convert it or we have to replace it with asterisk sign. Okay. So, what will we do? We will declare one string answer. String answer to store the resultant sentence. Okay. Which is in the beginning what? It is in the beginning blank. Okay. What will I do? I will write answer is equal to answer plus asterisk. We will join asterisk. If they are not vowels, what am, I, what am I supposed to do? I have to simply write answer is equal to answer plus ch. The program is done people. It is so simple. We just have to extract the character. From where are we extracting? From a. What is a? String which user enters. Suppose user entered Tata. So from that, T will be extracted, then A will be extracted, then again T, then again A. Okay. One by one, everything will go in CH. So when vowel comes, whenever vowel comes, I have to replace it with asterisk. Otherwise, we have to join the character as it is Tata is. So in this, I is vowel. But what about S? S will be joined as it is. Okay. In short, whenever vowel encounters, we have to replace it with asterisk. And if vowel is not there, rest of the character I have to join where? As it is in answer. So when you will come out of this for loop, what will you do? You will simply print new string. Where is the new string? In the variable, in the variable ANS. Okay. The program is over. Let's comment the question.
the program is the question is commented now i will run let's run the program is compiled successfully now i will run it it is asking me enter the string i'll write data steel is in rajkot i know it is not here but let's see we can write any sentence what will happen it will be automatically converted into upper case and all vowels will be replaced with what asterisk sign the program is over guys very easy what we did we extracted the character we checked for vowel put the asterisk instead of vowel and rest of the character as it is what are we actually doing we are joining we are concatenating in which variable answer since it is in the for loop it won't happen one time it will happen repetitively till the length of the string which user entered is over the process repeats itself thank you